Okay guys, uh, hey, I'm back out in the shed today and we did some work and, uh, on another project. I know you guys seen the feather project. I'm not done with that one yet, but I gotta uh, get some more metal for that. I don't, I don't have what I need, but haven't had a chance to get out and do anything. I've been trying to get ready for the storm that's coming through here. A little bit of remnants of this hurricane hitting the, hitting the Carolinas. I think we're going to get a little bit of rain here in Virginia. But uh, I want to make sure everything's secure around my house and everything and get that taken care of. But I had some spare time, so I'm going to work on uh, this uh, railroad spike knife for a good friend of mine. Uh, we've been friends for quite a while, and I want to get. Uh, and, uh, I want to see if I can get that made today for him, and uh, maybe get it over to him sometime. But that's what we're working on today. We're working on a railroad spike knife. I'm gonna do some different things with it. I'm gonna do a twist on the handle and stuff, and uh, put the blade out there. But we'll bring you along with it. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I'll get back with you in one second. I need some new gloves.
been saying much, but I've been working, pounding on this thing pretty hard. Uh, we're gonna do some more shaping with this blade. And then, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Just hang with us and uh, we'll get work through this. It's hot in here today. Thanks, guys. shape going on here uh, like I said on the back side let me let me give you a different view of that back here we want to straighten that out some and maybe draw it out a little bit more to make that handle just a little bit bigger because your hand ain't gonna fit in there so we're gonna clean this all up and uh, do a little bit more cleaning on that blade and I want to put a twist on this handle. So, there we go, guys. So far, pretty good. It's going to look pretty good. And that tip, I'm going I'm to I'm tip that out once I get it over on the grinder. I'll put a tip on there. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like the way it's coming out. So let's put it back in the boards and get some more heat on it. some more heat on it and uh, get another twist on it. Same with
so we're just saying straightened up, put a little bit of curve on it. That's it, man. I gotta go to the grinder with this thing now. Get it cleaned up and uh, it's looking pretty good. I think it does. Yep, yeah, we can work with that. So we're gonna let it cool down and then we'll get back with you. Hey right, guys, here's where we're at. We cleaned it up some. I haven't cleaned up the handle or nothing yet, but uh, I'm loving this knife, man. I I really like it a lot. Uh, got the blade coming along. I haven't put an edge on it yet. It's pretty straight, so we got to edge it. Put an edge on it. Still got to temper this blade. I mean, quench it and then temper it, uh, but. Here's where we're at so far, so I just wanted to give you guys an update of where we're, what, we're, uh, what we're doing. I know you guys don't want to see all this grinding and, and all this mess that i got to do with the cleaning up and stuff, so that's why I'm just giving you periodically updates and letting you know what's, where I'm at. So, with that being said, we're going to get back at it and get, uh, get an edge on this and see if we can't get this thing heat treated today. So hang with us, guys. Okay guys, I'm going to bring you along for this, uh, this quench, so we're going to get a, uh, heat this thing up and then we're going to get it to where a magnet won't, uh, stick and then we're going to quench it in the oil.
Yeah. Beautiful. Awesome. She's hard, guys. Now we got to do is let it cool down and then uh, clean it all up and then and this is done. Awesome. Turned out real good. Alright, here we go guys, let it cool down and then we'll clean it up.